So today, in this video, let's quickly set our application, the API onto Heroku so that we can have some API endpoints to work with. Now I am referring to this article on Heroku's official documentation. I will share this link with you guys. This is kind of nicely explained what you need to do and stuff like that. They have started right from creating a project, but I think we don't need to follow that because we already have our code base, right? But the first and foremost important part is the proc file. The proc file is what tells Heroku that you know, we have, um, we would like to push this thing onto Heroku, right? So let's first create that. Come over here, I'll do touch prop file. Now this is done. Now we haven't added anything. But yeah, I would like to tell you that one thing which is already assumed from my end is that you have an Heroku account and you have configured it on your terminal because I have Heroku CLI already installed and I can run certain commands through this terminal because I have already logged in to you know the CLI okay but yeah I think you can follow uh, their documentation and you'll get that thing should not be a problem now they are saying that we need to add this particular text inside our proc file so we will add this and with that I can do git add. Okay, let me just copy this. Git add dot this commit message. And then they are asking us to create a new app on Heroku. So let's do that. Heroku create. It will create an application on Heroku with a random name, which it just did. Okay, and it added the git thing as well. Let me copy this part. Come over here and let me see. Can I search for it? We don't have anything deployed to it. So what are the next steps? After doing this, we need to set certain environment variables now typical way to do that is using this but I avoid that I will do it through the UI what I would rather like to do is push the code base no, not over here but rather here to Heroku's master branch so let me do that it is doing certain things and it will ideally fail because app key is not present however I as far as I remember I can do something like th there is one command which allows me to um, run certain commands on the application which um, let me see this is done Heroku open you will see the message this is fine best practices but, uh, no no executing commands execute commands on Heroku app let me see Heroku run console okay do I get that run console okay Heroku run bash attaching to dino let me see whatever I'm getting is fine so ls a l this is nice do I have my dot env example I do 
and what if I do cp dot env my example to dot env will it even work I am not 100% sure okay it's not allowing me to copy as well if I'm not wrong never mind um, let me see I haven't done this for quite some time so if I what, what am I getting if I open the app I think it would fail right yeah it's failing that's for sure and if I do uh, Heroku logs it is giving me for both I would rather want to have for one particular app right app equals so Heroku apps right so I can do Heroku logs dash a equals does it work it's doing something yeah okay so that's fine I think and th this is going to work um, let me add some environment variables so inside settings I have nothing in here and what we can do is add some of these keys over there so app name Laravel TDD I'll add like this app key this is very important so I'll just copy this for now we will I will change it later but yeah let me first get this to thing to running production log channel stack log level debug for now okay and now let me see if this is working right so Laravel application is working because I can see this so the next thing is a database for database if I'm not wrong what we need to do is add-ons there is Postgres we don't get uh, MySQL so we will do Postgres free yes and attach database this app yes I'll open up this it has the configurations which we will need to add to our ENV where was the configuration it's in here reveal the first thing is DB configuration will be what inside database.php if I look at it the connection is PG SQL so I'll add that and then host let me see what is the host in there settings view credentials host is this port I think it is 5432 if I'm not wrong yes database name username oops not here but here and copy this paste it here right now what is going to happen is we do have a database to work with but I haven't seeded my data if I run the seeder I will get some data for sure but let's see da, 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 da. running db seed on Heroku let me see how do we do that so how do we push seeder no that is rails running rake Heroku setup laravel db seed how to see database after deploying this yes some Laracast so chances are that we will definitely get something 
Heroku run PHP Artisan DB seed. Now, Heroku run, how will it understand which app I am talking about? Let me try that out. The other one is also a dummy application. So, PHP Artisan. What if I run this? Should print something. Oh, yes, it does. So, I think it's detecting the app name and hence it is running that which is quite nice so i'll do migrate seed what it should then do is execute those commands run the migrations and it will create that one user which is there in my database seed oh yes it's asking for permission to run the migrations on production this is done database seeding is complete as well and if you remember i had this which means let me go to postman what is the url of our application our application is api slash slash what user slash auth it's a raw json email tavroy.com password is what happened Is it because of single quotes? I don't think so. JavaScript, sorry, my bad. JSON, JSON. I wonder what would have happened if we didn't have JSON. <laughs> so yeah, it's pretty obvious right so laravel ttv this is the collection what happened i can't see that collection over here yes save now if i run it is giving me a token that is so cool so our api is now working it is it is detecting that there is a user with this particular credential if I make a mistake, it should give me 422. Okay. It returned the home page. I think that's because in the in the header, I'll have to do accept application JSON. Then it will know that instead of redirect, it needs to provide a JSON response and yes we get a 422 saying that the password or the credentials are incorrect so we are in game our heroku application is working properly and now if we host our front end on vercel they should be able to talk to each other so what have we done if we go step by step i think you should follow this article very closely we we haven't done this because the code base was already there I created this proc file. I added this. It says that the web is no, uh, it is using some like Apache or something. And our uh, by default, Heroku will launch an Apache web server together with PHP to serve applications from the root directory of the project. Okay. However, your application's document root is public subdirectory, so you need to create a proc file that configures the correct document. Okay. So that's the reason it is you know uh, doing this kind of a configuration so we told using proc file that our application can be bootstrapped from this public folder then we created an app inside heroku our app as you can see is murmuring a toll 20012 that's a very unique name it does that automatically right then our application was created we had to add quite a few environment variables in here so that the application can start 
no these are some very critical things i have shown it but believe me i will change them later and you should also make sure that these things are not getting highlighted anywhere hmm. this was not added by me i think this is something which got added by heroku itself when i created the database that's fine i don't mind that but we are not using it okay i added like if you if you go to resources i added a postgres database to our application and this is the only thing which we could add and i can't add redis anymore so i won't be showing you caching on redis but yeah because we obviously want the database to be there uh, it's a postgres database so we use the postgres database we configured everything using this information which was there correct uh, can i please note these credentials are not permanent heroku rotates credentials periodically and updates applications where database is attached oh this is a problem if it rotates the credentials will i know because if i don't how will these envs change inside my application okay i don't know i'll have to figure it out um but okay it says six of ten thousand rows wow that would have been because there are certain migrations and there's one user okay so we have a good amount of limitation on the amount of data which we can hold it's fine i'll have some scripts which can you know reduce that thing or it will reset after some time because yeah obviously i don't think we can hold that much data at a, at one point so we'll see what can be done but yes our application is now live uh, on heroku thanks for watching guys if you like this video do click on the thumbs up icon and yes don't forget to subscribe to my channel